In this how to use Cakewalk by BandLab tutorial, I'm going to show you four ways that you can start to use MIDI in your projects, and you only need a MIDI keyboard for one of these ways. So if you don't have one, don't worry about that. I'm Zane, welcome to Audio Tech TV, where it's my goal to help you conquer the tech so you can unleash your creative beast. So you want to use virtual instruments in your projects, but you don't have a MIDI keyboard. No problem because this first way that i'm going to show you is we're just going to draw your notes in to the piano roll so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to drag a synth in over here and then i can just double click anywhere in this area here and you can see it brings up the piano roll and now we can just draw our notes in You can see you can control the velocity by adjusting these down here. And you can move things around and shorten them however you need to. And another way you can access this is by going up here, right clicking, then go to view piano roll. And then we're in the piano roll again here. Or you could also go up to views and then piano roll there. As you can see, there's various ways that you can get into the piano roll. So use whatever one's best for you and then start drawing your notes or your beats in. And if it is a drum plugin that you're using, you might want to use this next method. But before we get into that, I just want to ask if you're enjoying this video so far and getting some value out of it, can you please give it a thumbs up? It really helps my channel out and I appreciate it so much. Now back into Cakewalk. So this next method is the step sequencer and I'm going to delete this plugin here and we'll bring in a drum plugin. And now over in this area here, instead of double clicking, I'm going to right click view step sequencer. And here's our step sequencer. You can see by default, it has just four beats and we can adjust that over here increase it to, I would say at least eight beats. You might want to go up to 16 or something like that, but eight's a good start. And to create our beat, we just draw our notes in down here. There's our kick drum and snare. And then we just have to find our hi-hat. All right, so this is a little bit of a beat right here. Let's hear how it sounds. Not that good, but as you can see how easy it was to draw that in there. And if you want to access the velocity information in here, you can just click on this little triangle and you can see the velocity info here. And you can adjust that however you want. You can also rename these if you want it. So you could rename that to kick and this one snare and so on. And if your drum plugin has more pads than what's available in here already, you can also add rows in. So you could just insert a row and then it's going to add more. And you can also use this for synthesizers too, if you want that sort of FL Studio kind of layout by using the step sequencer, you can make these notes longer. All you have to do is just make a bunch of them in a row like that. And then you hold down the control key on your computer keyboard, click and drag right across. And now that is a whole note. So if it was a synthesizer, it would hold that note for that long. So you can see this method is very versatile. It's extremely easy to use. And for making beats, it's probably the way to go. It's the way I would go for sure, just because of how easy it is and how you see the grid in here. I really like the step sequencer for making some drum beats. All right, this next way is the more traditional way to use MIDI, and it's recording it in using a MIDI keyboard or a MIDI controller. And you just connect your MIDI keyboard to your computer, 
go into your preferences. Then you want to go into MIDI devices and you want to make sure that there's a check mark beside yours and the inputs. You don't really need to worry about the outputs unless you're outputting to some external device, but for just recording MIDI notes in, make sure there is a check mark beside the input and then you would leave here and we'll add a synth again to our song. And then we want to go to this area right here, click on it and go to whatever your MIDI keyboards name is, go to that over here. And then you would choose a channel. I'm just going to choose channel one and I'm just going to see if it worked and it works. So if we wanted to record that, we would arm this for recording by clicking that there, hit the record button. And you can see we have our recorded MIDI, just double click that and you can edit it if you wanted to. You can also add more notes in and build more of a structure around whatever MIDI you recorded in. Maybe you want to turn one of these into more of a chord. You can add more in there. Again, another very easy method, and it's probably the easiest method in my opinion is using the MIDI keyboard, but whatever works for you. And now this fourth method is very similar to the previous one, except for we're going to use our computer keyboard as the MIDI keyboard to record the notes in. And if you want to do this, go up to views and then you go down here to virtual controllers and you click on computer keyboard. You can also see there's a shortcut there by pressing alt and zero. So here is our virtual controller and you can see the keys here that you can use to control the notes. So let's just test it out. And you can also change the octave that you're on. And you can change the default velocity if you wanted by using these here. And you can also use the arrow keys on your computer keyboard as well. So let's just test recording. And again, you want to make sure that your track is armed for recording. Hit record. And there's our MIDI that we recorded with our computer keyboard. It's that easy. And all of these methods are going to get you into using virtual instruments. So figure out which way works best for you, or maybe it's a combination of these methods. Use any and all of them that work for you. And if you want to check out even more Cakewalk tutorials, click up here or click down here to see what YouTube recommends. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching for Audio Tech TV. I'm Zane. Keep creating. And we'll talk soon.